way that I look into it, um, I know basically, let's put it this way, the, the purpose of the whole presentation is, is just to try to kind of be a little bit more specific than just in general approach. Seems like for the past, I would say 10 to 15 years, we have learned uh, a lot more about laminitis, but it seems like the more that we learn, the more that we realize it's not what we thought. Um, therefore, it seems like um, things could be a little bit more specific. And when I'm meaning specific, we try to we try to um, break down things even into the stages as simple as that. You know, you start from your acute stages or your developmental stages, um, and then early acute or a little bit um, through the acute stages, and then um, your your chronic stages. When you get into your chronic stages, you get into the development. I mean, not the developmental. You get into the unstable and stable, which is the compensated and, and uncompensated. And what I mean with that is even between through all those stages, there are specific ways of how uh, the horse is presented. And, and the approach to it, um, it depends on, on understanding that mechanical failure. That's the key part of how to approach these cases. Um, because even on those type of uh, stages, we tend to be a little bit generalized. You know, the way that I mean that is when you get into the acute or developmental, you, we, all, we already know the cryotherapy works really well. well. But when we get into acute, what do we use? Do we use the ultimate wedges? Do we use the soft fry boots? Do we use the wooden clocks? And we get into a lot of things that people like to use what works for them. But I think that we have gotten to a point that we tend to generalize things a little bit and uh, have learned for the past 10 years that um, the reason why I tend to think that we might be a little bit successful is just because we try to break it down even further than that. Um, again, being a little bit more spe specific. And I go back into understanding just what type of mechanical failure this, was, this horse is being presented. If you understand what type of mechanical failure, that's when you get into provide that mechanics into your approach. And, and that's what I mean with the principle. What principles are we talking about? We're talking about, you know, changing the angles. We're talking about the breakovers. We're talking about the pull of the ditto flexor tendon. We're talking about the sole support. And even in those terms, those things can be even breaking down furthermore. What kind of impression material? You're talking about just the back part of the foot, uh, the whole sole. Um, because a lot of times that will depend on what type of mechanical failure. You're talking about a horse that rotated you know, or have a dorsal palmar rotation, or you have a horse that rotated and had medial sinker, or you have a horse that it was just a true sinker. There's so many things that can play a factor, even conformation of the horse's foot. We're talking about, um, we're talking about a, a horse that could be, have a pretty flat uh, angle or negative angle, or horses with poor hoof quality where the sole is flat, the heels are low. Those horses tend to present with laminitis into a different type of scenario than a horse that is a little bit more upright with very strong quarters. Those are the horses that tend to, to rotate more than sink. So what I mean with, with this presentation is to try to get into details, to try to break it down, and obviously we'll be very systematic about breaking them down, but after we break them down in stages, breaking down furthermore where we can just get into a little bit more spe specific about it. And, uh, you know, one thing is that we won't get into the whole thing about this shoe or this approach is what works for all of them. It's going to be more like this is the principle what we are all trying to achieve as veterinarians and farriers. And no matter what type of tools you use, as long as the principles and the approach is the same, the end result should be similar.